Hello. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. How you doing? So, the other day I was in a business and they offered me a drink. I go to the fridge and I get a nice tea. And when I took that first sip, I could taste this syrup, this incredible sweetness. It was way over sugared. I look at the back of the bottle and it has something like 46 grams of sugar, which is ridiculous. Which got me thinking. How much sugar is really in our drinks? Let's find out. Today I have some drinks and I have some sugar. I also have a scale. I'm going to measure the sugar in grams because your drinks, the amount of sugar in them is measured in grams. Now, you just saw that the Coke has 65 grams of sugar. We're going to get there. What should we start with? Let's just get right into it. Let's go with the Coke. It has 65 grams of sugar. So, I'm going to turn on my scale. And I'm now going to demonstrate what 65 grams of sugar looks like. Do you think it's more than this? It's close. There we go, 65 grams of sugar. So this is the amount of sugar you're consuming when you drink a Coke. When you drink a 20 ounce bottle of Coke. That's not good for you. That's what makes you overweight. No, for real, sugar can make you overweight. Sugar definitely helps you gain pounds. That's what makes you fat. If you wanna lose weight, cut back on sugar. So now you're thinking, Cokes are unhealthy. Let me go with a uh, healthier alternative. Gatorade. 36 grams of sugar. Let's do this. Thirty-six grams of sugar. This is thirty-six grams of sugar. This is what's inside your healthy sports drink. Let's do the orange juice. Thirty-three grams of sugar. Not much different than the uh, Gatorade. In fact, this is actually even smaller. So what if you drank an orange juice that was the size of this, you'd be consuming more sugar. Now let's pretend that a full day has gone by and you had orange juice for breakfast, a Gatorade during lunchtime, and a Coke with dinner. That is 65, 36, plus 33. That's 134 grams of sugar. So let's just see what 134 grams of sugar looks like. <sighs> Boom, 134. This much sugar. If you drink all three of those in a day, you're consuming this much sugar. There's no way, no way that's good for you. Hold on, it's still going. All oh, that's fat. All oh, that's bad for you. Sugar's a drug. You wanna lose weight? You wanna feel better? Cut back on your sugar. Now, we're not done. It's hot. Let me introduce you to the 7-Eleven Double Big Gulp. This 7-Eleven Double Big Gulp has 50 ounces of liquid in it. But how much sugar does it have? Now hold on, it's a little tempting because it's looking kind of delicious and it's hot. Oh, that's good. I looked it up on the website and that has roughly 150 grams of sugar. 150 grams of sugar, 150 grams of sugar. 150 grams of sugar. 150 grams of sugar. 150 grams of sugar. There we go. This has this. This in a day is not good for you. Imagine doing this every day, every other day. Imagine drinking this, but you still are gonna drink this during the day.
Sugar makes you fat. Sugar makes you feel bad. Sugar's bad for your health. Now, I like it. It tastes great, but basically, if you want to feel better, if you want to be better, cut back on this. You don't need all of this. You don't need all of this. Let me show you what you do need. A lot of this, right? Let me introduce you to my friend water over here, okay? Comes from the earth, comes from the sky. There's no calories, there's no sugar, and it's uh, mainly what your body's made up of. You wanna feel better? You wanna lose weight? Drink this.